guys, for this DIY video, I'll be using the collapsible bin in the bedroom as a side table. This usually comes with a hard board that you can put inside that's going to keep the shape in place. Now, I do have a video where I use the collapsible bin and I worked around it to use it as storage under the bed. In that particular DIY video, I used collapsible bins from the Dollar Tree and some of the bins from Walmart. Now, here's a short clip of what the video looks like, and I will leave a link for the full DIY tutorial video down in the description box below. In order for me to make it easy to pull it out and put it back into the cubes, I had to cover the front of all of the collapsible bins with canvas panels. There's a detailed explanation of how this whole thing turned out. But for now, I want you guys to see that in this video, this particular collapsible bin already has a surface that's hard. And guess what? This already came with the nightstand. I found this item on Amazon because I was looking for a cheap side table for a visitor's bedroom. So this is what I picked out and it is a collapsible bin and there's wood in front similar to what I had done about four years ago. Now I want to see if I can change the look of what I have here. And I'm starting off by changing what the wood looks like in front. I'll be using a Dollar Tree charger plate and attaching it like this. Now what I'm going to be doing is covering up the sides with mirror reflective paper. But then I figured it will be so much easier using silver tape. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'm going to be covering up the sides that are open with tape. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to be gluing on the platter in the middle. Now, because I want to make sure that I get an accurate midpoint for the platter, I'm going to be drawing out lines first to make it easy for me to locate where the middle is. I glued it down with a strong adhesive. Because I want this to look really cute, I got different knobs that I'll be using for the drawers. Now that I'm done with the first drawer, I'm gonna be repeating the same thing for the second drawer. 
Each of the nightstands have just two drawers. Well, that's the one that I bought. They do have options where you can buy the nightstands with three drawers. Now that I'm done with these, I'll be putting the boards for the base inside to see what they all look like. Now I'm gonna keep this aside and then work on the frame for the nightstand. The nightstand is a metal frame, so all I did was to take it out and spray paint the whole thing silver. When it was dry, I brought it back inside and inserted the drawers. Now I do have another idea using a different Dollar Tree item to decorate the wood using trays. I'm gonna be measuring out what I need from the tray and cut out the excess part and attach it to the wood with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. The sides that are open can either be covered with mirror reflective paper cutouts or with silver tape like I did for the first set of drawers. I use the same type of knobs that I used for the first set of drawers that I made. This is pretty the way it is, but I do have a tray that I got from Party City. And this is what the tray looks like. I'm simply just going to be using the cutouts from the first tray to enable me get the exact shape for the drawers. Using this particular tray is kind of interesting because it does leave a reflection, as you can see here, at the back. So I kept going back and forth with this tray and the other tray until I made up my mind to just stick with the tray from Party City. Now going back to the first DIY, and this is what I have. I put it side by side with the other one that I had made with trays. The Party City tray that you see at the bottom has some kind of smooth sides because I didn't wait for the glue to cool off a bit before attaching it. Now this is what the other side table looks like in the bedroom and I immediately decided to add onlays to the sides and I'll be using wooden onlays that I got online and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I took these out and I spray painted them silver. I attached them to the outer sides of the drawers. Now I'm trying to figure out what I can add to this if it's even necessary. But then of course, it's good to just try it out to see what it's gonna look like. I decided to take placemats that I got from Walmart and cut them to size and attach them to the plates. These are the cutout pieces and all I did was just glue them to the Dollar Tree plates. Breathe in the air, the light that surrounds me. If we hold ourselves together, these are sturdy drawers and like I said, this is for one of the visitors' bedroom and I was just trying to play around with ideas that can work out for a side table that's affordable and also a DIY creation that you'd be proud of. Here's what the other one that has the trays look like in the bedroom. This also looks super pretty the way it is, but then if you want to attempt what I have made in this particular video, and using the platter, you can leave it like this, plain, without the table mat. Or you can add the mat for a different finish. It's really up to you. 
I added wooden onlays too to the sides of the trays, as you can see. But it's not as visible as it is with the other one that has the plates. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below in a playlist. Now for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.